You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. When the Nepal earthquake happened, I made a video about amateur radio helping Nepal. What you may not know is many radio operators from neighboring countries went to Nepal as volunteers to help augment emergency communications in rural areas where grid communications have been knocked out. Now, of course, volunteers are always ready to deploy with their all-mode, all-band amateur radio gear. Using rigs like the FT-817, the FT-857, or the FT-897. But the problem we have always comes back to the antenna. And if you haven't figured it out already, that's actually what this video is all about. These are some of the deployment goals that I've come up with for an antenna system that would be used in emergency communications in a grid down situation. So naturally we're talking about a communication system to provide regional to DX communications on HF to 50 megahertz. And I'm calling this concept the Modular Portable Antenna System or MPAS for short. So let's try to imagine the impasse system as a box of Legos. The radio operator pulls the parts that he needs from his box of Legos, then configures them to meet the deployment requirements and communication requirements on the ground. Now this impasse system that I'm showing you are all components that come from a company called Chameleon Antennas. Chameleon Antenna seems to understand very well this Lego block methodology and many of their products are designed with multiple configuration options and accessories that expand or increase their capabilities. Of course, if you had the tools and expertise to do so, you could build your own systems, but I'm very much happy with these. So far, my Lego box includes the Hybrid Micro, which is the core of the system, the Mill Whip, or Military Whip, the Mill Whip extension, the Counterpoise Kit, as well as the jaw clamp mount. Please remember if you're watching this video from the website survivaltechnology.net there's an entire article with lots of information that goes along with the video including links, detailed description and uh, lots of supporting information. So this is my antenna Lego box. Tell me what you think about it. You can also let me know what you think about this impasse concept or simply say hello. Lots of cool things in the pipe, including some new videos from the Survival Comms Basic Series. So stay on the lookout for those. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. A warm welcome to all the new subscribers and a huge thank you to the old ones. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.